Hello guys, we're back once again for another step on our manager's journey. We're here with Warsaw in the FIFA 20 career mode. And straight off the bat again, I'd like to thank you all for being here. And taking time out of your day to watch this video. Um, now the reason why December, it was originally planned to be one episode, is two. Is literally just because of the cup game and the previous video was long enough as it is. So instead what I've decided to do is start the episode with a derby and then we're going to finish it with one as well. And we've got obviously Swansea in the middle. So now that's cleared up. Uh, if we touch back on the last episode you'll know that we started to hit a bit of a rocky patch of form. Uh, we've come through it unscathed still pretty much. Uh, we just dropped those two points. I'm not going to say who against just in case anyone who hasn't seen the last episode is watching. Um, but yeah, we did drop points. Um, we're going to be looking today, obviously, to get straight back on form and continue the way the season has been going. So while we're here, we might as well have another look at the league table. And that is how it stands just at the moment. We're still a healthy six points clear of Stoke. Um, we're 14 points clear of dropping out of the relegation points. Uh, the relegation, the playoffs, sorry. Um, so, yeah, things are still looking really good. And we don't need to do much with the team and the players. They should be fired up as it is, as everyone should be for a derby game. So, let's go ahead and jump right into that one now. So here we go then, first game of the episode and it's come at the right time, a game like this I think where everyone's just fired up to the max uh, for a good old fashioned derby. Um, hopefully we can get a good tune out of everyone, get back to the way we've been playing football, get back to the goals we've been scoring, the solid defence, uh, yeah just get back to it all and this is the perfect stage to do it I reckon. Um, so yeah we'll see what happens here. And in the first 20 minutes, 15-20 minutes, that's not been much to be honest. Birmingham have had a couple of shots but we've really, really controlled this game, which has been impressive. But we've not created anything for all the possession that we've had at the moment, as you can see. It's been mainly sideways and going backwards, but we might have Morgan in here now in a really good position. It's on his weaker foot and he just couldn't wrap it around enough to get it. He was in good space there, the defender did do just enough probably in the end actually to put him off but you would have thought the form that this guy has been in the last couple of seasons, he might have at least got it on target, I don't know. But yeah, that's probably a good a look as we've had so far, even though they're the home team, Birmingham have just literally come to sit deep and not get beaten it feels like. And if they can nick one on the counter, that's what they'll do. And from that goal kick. There's somewhat developing here for them now, but no, it's picked off by Giles. So that's a good pick, to be honest, as well. Good interception. He's got it through to Gomez here now, and I see Tremblay making his run. Can he get it to him? He can, and it's 1 0. It's 1 0 in the derby, and it's young Tremblay who I've been probably bad mouthing a little bit. Uh, not so, well, I, don't, I think bad mouthing's probably a bit strong, but we've been criticising a little bit that he's not up to the level of the rest of the team. Well, I'll tell you what, he's come up big there, because now Birmingham probably are going to have to open up a little bit, and that might just change the way this game's gone. He's absolutely thumped that one home. And yeah, that's good. We're 1-0 up already. 
Uh, no, he's he's sixteenth goal in the championship this season, which is not a bad return, I suppose. Uh, he's in a team that's creating lots of chances, which will help. But yeah, it's not a bad return that. And yeah, we're one nil up in the derby. I thought Clark had managed to steal in a pinch that there, and that was all started by this man here with his interception. He's had a really good season so far, um, young Giles. Uh, he's coming of age maybe, uh, Morgan is in space here, he's found Moreno brilliantly, nice step overs, he's dropped the shoulder on that defender as well, and we move the ball back in field again with Garcia, Clark's got it now and he comes back inside as well, Morgan is open with room here, you do not want to give him that much space on the edge of the box because he'll just do what he's just done to you. If he can get the ball anywhere around there on that left foot, you are in big, big trouble. And Birmingham, if they didn't know that before the game, which they probably should have done, they definitely know it now. He's just hammered that one home. And that's 2-0 uh, already in the derby. That's gone through the defender's legs. What a shot that is. That's unbelievable from uh, Morgan. And yeah, as you could tell, when the goal went in, I really wasn't surprised. And there's a reason for that. That is his 18th of the season. And he just doesn't miss many, does he? He really doesn't. And now Birmingham have to get the game back underway again. 2-0 down and we're not even half an hour in yet. That's a beautiful interception and a nice little 1-2 there. With Gomez and Morgan. Uh, Tremblay's popped it off to Morgan. Who's get it back and we might have Moreno in here now. He's come back onto the stronger right. He looked for Gomez, I think it was, but he just couldn't find him. It's a good bit of defending there from Birmingham. They ventured forward for a change and we absolutely just caught him on the counter, but we couldn't make it count this time. Garcia, I would have thought you would have got that, mate. you got to be stronger than that, but then he does go and win it back. The Birmingham come forward again now. Oh, and that's great play by Giles again. What a half this guy's having. He's popped it straight off to Moreno. Tremble, oh my god, what a pass that was. And Morgan's finished it as well. What a goal that was. That was unbelievable. The cheek, the swagger, the confidence, everything I've been talking about. He's right back in the players in spades at the moment. And that little pass there from Tremble, look at this. Unbelievable. To find his target as well, Morgan didn't even take a touch just strolls onto it, passes it into the corner of the net for his 19th of the season and that could be the Midland derby over for Birmingham oh they've gifted us another one potentially in now we just couldn't find the pass that could easily have been four before the half and I think Birmingham probably just need half time now uh, we don't know, we're right on the front foot here Morgan's got the ball in space again Moreno just can't turn quite quick enough, but they've given it us back again now with Doku. Gomez has got it, he's popped it off brilliantly to Morgan who's found in space, uh, Moreno waiting. And it is now 4-0 and Tremblay has another one. That is, yeah, 4-0 before half time. It's a headed goal which you don't see much from us. And yeah, that is definitely game now. Little ball there around the corner from Morgan. Moreno's just stood it up. Tremblay's in all sorts of space. It's a free header. He couldn't miss. And that is his 17th goal of the season now. And we're absolutely running riot here at Birmingham. And they definitely do need half time now. They need full time to be honest. And there you go. That's the end of what has been an amazing first half for us. And it's us for getting the game back off in the second half. Uh, after what's been a breathtaking first, um, all we've got to do now is just go and enjoy the second. Uh, it's not often you can say that at this level, but we've really run over Birmingham in the first half. And as long as we're smart now, we've got this game wrapped up already. And you can see uh, just slowing it down a bit, just keeping the possession now, moving it from left to right, trying to play through the lines. Giles, who had a brilliant first half, he was probably the player of the half, if there was such a thing. Um, his interception led to a goal, one of his tackles led to a goal, he was brilliant. And we got Morgan in space again here now, and they've not learnt the lesson from the first half. It's an almost carbon copy finish. I don't think Birmingham have touched the ball since half time, 
and we've just thumped it in the back of the net. That is the level that we're playing at at the moment. I oh, really, if we could watch this back all the way, I don't think they touched the ball. We kept it for the full five minutes and then we found Morgan in space. Used the defender to guide it just round the back of him. He's bent it back round into the inside of the sticks. And that is already unbelievably 5 now. And that is definitely now curtains. It's just a matter of how many we want to go and score now. As Morgan moves to 20 goals for the season. What a player this guy is. And since that goal's gone in, Birmingham obviously had the kick off. But we've gone right back to what we were doing again. Look how much space that we've got now because Birmingham are just so, so deep. Morgan goes for another one there, but this time they do get the block in. Uh, we'll get a replay of that here. He's looked, you see him where he wants to hit it, but that's great defending to be fair. And we've got a corner now, can we do something with this maybe? It's coming in, it's a decent one now from Morgan, we do get ahead on it, but it just goes up instead of anywhere. We'll try and put it back in the box again now, and it's headed away again. And maybe now Birmingham can actually do a counter, but no, they can't. We've picked it back off again, and I think we've just demoralised them guys at this point, to be honest. Uh, they're just camping right in now, as you can see. There is little pockets, but uh, they're getting smaller and smaller because of how deep they are. But it doesn't really matter. We're five up now. All we've got to do is just keep the ball till the end of the game, basically. We've completely outclassed them all over the pitch. Um, I think, oh, that's a bad ball over from Morgan. We've picked it straight back off again, though. With Garcia, we're, they're sitting so deep, so we're being able to just suffocate them at the moment. We've uh, a lot of the time got all of our players inside their half. So when we do lose the ball, we're recycling it really quickly. And Birmingham are just struggling to get out, to be honest. There might be something on for me though, because there is a man there on the right wing that I can see that's wide open. They choose to come down the left though instead. That's a nice bit of play, to be fair. The nice little give and go there as well. This smells like trouble, to be honest. That's a decent ball in, and yeah, it has ended in a goal. We'll give them that one. That was nice football by them. That's exactly what we've been doing to them for the majority of this game. They've got a consolation. It was really well worked. There's no other way of describing it. Um, again, keepers beaten at the near post, which is a bit disappointing, but other than that... It's a <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, it's a great little ball through and he's just hit it first time and yeah, he, the keeper should be doing better there to be honest but oh well, it's not going to change the outcome of the game it is a bit frustrating but we're more than in good enough shape so yeah, we get the game underway once again and that's passed nicely there into Tramblow who's found Morgan again oh what a first touch and he has gone and got another one and that's six. We did have the last word in the end. Uh, there's literally 30 seconds in the game to go. So that's impressive. We played right the way up till the final whistle. And this man is just a goal scoring machine at the moment. I don't think in any career mode I've ever played on or off camera. I've had a midfielder who just keeps scoring goals the way that he does. Uh, that left foot, as soon as he hits one with it, like nine and a half times out of ten, I would say, it's finding the back of the net. He's absolutely a special player. It's been a great performance, a great day, unless you're a Birmingham fan, that is. And now we just take the points and go back home with them. Um, there's probably not even going to be time for another restart. There is. Uh, I thought they might even blow up there. He has done. That is the game, guys. Really impressive performance. We really showed our strength there. Uh, Morgan definitely deserves the match ball. Just alone himself. He's had nine shots and he's got four goals. So, yeah, great display. Really happy with that. With that one. And we just take our points and we move on, guys. We're going into a press conference now against Swansea. And all you can really ask for is more of the same. And in our opinion, do Swansea have a chance of winning against us? Um, if we play like that, I would say no. Um, but then this is football, it is FIFA, it's still sport, even though it's a video game. So you just never know. But as the answer there, it says, uh, we're in such good form, it's pretty hard to see us dropping points. 
and last time we played Swansea we got a 5-1 win so will we be able to replicate that well you would like to think so um, well you'd like to hope so sorry <laughs> but again you just never know so you can't say that and again the right answer you can't let your guard down and Swansea are hungry for results but we are too so yeah um, we won it of course we do and now the press conference is over we have got highlights of the Swansea game guys so I will see you the That's other side the of those today, guys. Okay, so does someone want to tell me how the hell that's just happened? We go from absolutely thumping Birmingham with full of confidence to losing 3-0 at Swansea. And it was an absolutely terrible performance again. Uh, just like the Brentford one, no off the ball running, no nothing. Defence all over the place for the goals again. We were just absolutely to a man, we were terrible. Uh, absolutely terrible all over the park. And now we've got an FA Cup game against Coventry. So, again, hopefully the fact that it's a derby can pump us up for this one. Because after that we need it. And, yeah, um, we're going to rotate for this one. It worked last time we dropped points. All right, that's we so, to hopefully go. freshening things up again will garner the same kind of result. But, um, we'll see. And it's going to be another game of highlights. So, again, guys, I will see you the other side. Now that absolutely is more like it. 
a good old thumping 8 0 win of our Midland rivals. Um, that will be the end of this episode, guys. As you can see, we've got Arsenal next away. Hopefully, now after that performance, we can go bouncing into that one back full of confidence again. I've not decided what team just yet that I'm going to put out there. Um, we'll see what the calendar for January looks like. Uh, in terms of January, as we're just going through the Youth Academy and things here, I don't think there's anything, there's definitely not much that we really need to do. I'm more than happy with the squad all across the pitch at the moment. And we've also got our new striker coming in just to reinforce up front. So in terms of players coming in, don't think we, we might not even do anything. In terms of players going out, the same. Uh, I, there's no one I really want to get rid of. So unless there's some ridiculous offer coming for one of the players, I think we might have a quiet January in terms of transfers. But we shall see. Uh, time will tell. But again, that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have, please do uh, hit that like and subscribe. Uh, have a great rest of your day. And I will definitely see you shortly for the next one. Bye, guys.